His name is Edward Cagney Matthews. Let's give him the fame that he wanted because what'd you say? He said, come see about me after his racist rant sure against a neighbor, yeah. harassment. He had been doing this for a long period of time. Police did nothing about it. Uh, got caught on videotape. He said, you know what? This is my address. Come see me, N-words, monkeys, whatever you want to call. Yeah, he's going off on this neighbor right here. This guy right here was actually trying to protect one of those neighbors that had to call 911. Nothing was done. There he is actually berating a police officer or a security guard, whoever that person was, and was allowed to just walk yeah. off. Well, <clears throat> after that rant, after he gave out his address, a large crowd formed. I'm talking about 100 people came out there, and they were ready to see him. And then, of course, as you mentioned earlier, he gave this little Mia Cova. Oh, no, I'm not racist. This is who I am. I, actually, can we play the sound? Do we have the sound? Let's hear from this fool. It's been an ongoing, escalating situation that was not stemmed by racism or racist. I got angry, and I use terminology like this with some of my close friends, white and black. I have called myself the n-word on multiple occasions because i'm an idiot and i make bad choices and i screwed up you know and i deserve what i get well yeah, the only thing he said that, that made sense is, is he deserves dumb. yeah yeah he <laughs> deserves what he gets he you're stupid your mm -hmm. friends are too if you have any if you have black friends or white friends mm -hmm. they're stupid too for putting up with this mm -hmm. um he said and did so many horrendous things the the crowd which really formed you know it, it was a sea of people and they looked like they were all different you know colors of the rainbow mm -hmm. and they were all shouting things at him police did nothing to the crowd as they took him out in handcuffs and they were throwing water bottles i'm not you know condoning it but that's what happened and that's what happens when you mm -hmm. behave this way just ridiculous his interview bothered me not just because of the stupid things he said but you don't even you don't even have a glow light that's a ridiculous you look okay <laughs> if you're going to say something dumb and give the interview at least have a glow light and his moccasins you know i hope we put the picture back up and you might say oh come on this is serious no it's not He's a fool who makes no sense, and racists are pretty dumb. Okay, look at the premise you know what? of racism. The, the moccasins with no socks. It he's just, a, well, he, sit down. Look, a fool. fashion sense, any kind of sense. The man doesn't have much of a brain. Like I said, we're gonna make him famous today. He should be famous. See and that look face at this. right there. That is the Orange face is of a color. lot of your neighbors. <laughs> a lot of your neighbors yeah. have this face, even if they don't look like him. They feel the same way he feels Sharon. Here's the thing that people aren't talking about that really has me enraged. He's been doing this for a while. Yep. They have, his yep. neighbors have complained for a while about this type of intimidation, this type of harassment. Uh, allegedly, he spray painted one of the cars, vandalized the cars, put the N-word on one of the cars, and guess what the Mount Laurel Police Department did about it? Nothing until a, un a, a mob formed outside of his house. And I don't even want to use mob. A concerned citizens, patriots mm -hmm. formed outside of his house and demanded that they actually mm. come see him like he wanted to see them. And then when they yeah. formed outside the house, and I wish we had another picture, Sharon, because we could see it. They formed a barricade around his house as if they were protecting this man. Now, he needed protection, believe that. But that's what the Mount Laurel Police Department did, and it could have escalated to the point where somebody could have gotten hurt because, like you said, they were throwing garbage, they were throwing debris at him. Now, what if one of those cops would have just turned on the crowd and it became something ugly because of his stupidity and because of them not doing something? That is the shame in this whole situation. Like this guy, once again, Edward Cagney Matthews, he's a lot of people in this country. The police department failed in this situation, most of all, and they should be accountable and they should have to answer for what they did not do in this situation. Yeah, I mean, I...